This is such a mundane fun game. Fun day? Ha. Uh. Entering Ice Cavern. Wasn't the music composed by the guy that composed the music for the Amanda show? That leads. There is one song that's really. Yeah, that show. leads. To, they use the credits music from the Amanda show, I believe. Because the well, technically it was the Amanda show um, credits music, as I believe. From Spyro, because the composer actually owns his own music. Yes. That's a flipping miracle. Yes. Yeah, well, this was also back a long time ago, but that <laughs> might have been a more normal thing. No, that's back when it was actually less normal. Have you not heard the story of Image Comics? We don't have time for that. <laughs> no, I'm serious. We don't. Anyhow. Oh, right. That's oh. a dragon name, I think. So! That bat just disintegrated from my hands. Yep. I don't think I've... The uh, hell? <laughs> that has <laughs> one game. That happens sometimes. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> don't <know. laughs> <laughs> it, it will oh, wait, I'm sure it'll glitch out enough for you to have one really good one. It will only be bad if you start swimming in the air. Or, I'm gonna do that. Oh, you can't do that in this game. Or fall through the game. That wasn't a thing in this game. But you couldn't swim in the air because there's no swimming. Classic! Now, Spyro 2, I am going to legitimately swim in the air because I don't like leave. I, I like to not leave um I areas know. unfinished. I never thought about that. You, yeah, this game doesn't have any swimming. That's one of those. That's why it's not in this game. That's one of those really weird. This things. game's gonna have a lot of good thumbnail potential. Oh uh, no, and Spyro Two because I like to finish all my worlds as I go to them, like I do in this game. And there is one world, uh, one home world. You can't. I can't fix it. Like I can't make it happen like I want it. But in Spy, but in the set first home world. There's a spot that you would need to climb to, and I'm going to skip the ladder. Actually, I'm going to skip quite a few ladders, because I like to finish areas as mm -hmm. I go to them. Sonic Adventure had really great thumbnail potential. Well, early, um, really old 3D games, the thumbnails just, you know, write themselves. You just have to have the, like, old PS1 model spaz out for a minute, or, you know, something like the way they have blinking animations in this game. A complaint I got a while back was that my thumbnails were terrible, and because- so Okay, these are interesting enemies, actually. You ever won- you, ha you ever played a game where ice physics are a good thing? He's completely covered in armor, which means he should be killable. Because he's big, and he has armor, so he can't be charged, and he can't be flamed. But because mm -hmm. his armor makes him slippery, and since this is a frozen area, he slides right but off. Shouldn't he be sturdy enough to wear... No, nope. because it, he's too slippery. He has no traction, so, so when you... When apparently, <laughs> Sephiroth's charge is not enough to harm mm -hmm. him, but it is enough to push him back slightly. Someone complained that my thumbnails were boring. They said I should make big custom thumbnails, but I think big custom thumbnails on standard L P parts. I always liked it on the first part, and then every subsequent part is just like a Thank thumbnail for the really? video. Well, that's what Brain Scratch does. Right. Mm. Uh, 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 I was complimenting the way they do it. And I, I, I appreciate that, but yeah, I don't need it for like every single video. And the reason Although, I have to say, I love the Kingdom Hearts thumbnail that is one of those memes. The last part I think we uploaded. The, um, Lion King one. Oh my... I don't know where you found that picture or if you made it, but I, I can't remember if there was context behind that or... Didn't oh, no, hours, I made it! Yeah, you spent hours making that. But what, were there, was there context? Yes! Or? You requested that. Well, why? why? Oh, no! <laughs> what? Oh, oh my drop, god! You don't Remind me the story. Oh, okay. I, I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, first of all... Um, and I said I was going to do a bad editing job for that, so that's why I, that's why it's edited badly. John doesn't remember this. I almost used what I'm about to describe in our YouTube trailer, but it was far too long, and most of the trailer would have been this one. It was, it was, um... 
we were in Hall of Fashion, and you, we had beaten, um, the, the behemoth, and we were making, hold on, I'm trying to remember, I don't remember everything that was said, because quite a few things, but the, the main quote, and what brought about that request, so, after beating the behemoth, Karza made some comment about Cloud, and you were making a joke that Cloud, like, um, Leon had absorbed all of Cloud's personality and had therefore assimilated him, and Brian was like, you're making it sound like <laughs> Leon pulled the Mufasa. This is my game now. Leon, no! He pushes him off and we're all cracking up about... Also, card on the right there. Uh, I said also card on the right there. I was making a point of you uh, insert a card that's on um, that thumbnail. Yeah, it's a link to that part, not part one of the Cousin, the the YouTube do, does stupid in-card things now. You can put cards in the middle of videos. I could. I might. Normally it's supposed to be the But you immediately follow Brian's quote up with, like, making that... You said someone draw that, and then we were talking about you wanted me to make a thumbnail, and I said I could try to edit Cloud and Leon's face over the Mufasa scene. And I said it would. Huh? And you said make it a thumbnail, but I said, um, that as a cost. I said I might do a custom thumbnail. But what I basically did, I added it into the video on the loading screen after you had set it. So it's technically a frame from the video. And it's on thumbnail. <laughs> because Brian was like, you're making it sound like Leon pulled the Mufasa. <laughs> this is my game now. Leon, no! And he pushes him. <laughs> Before I can remember how you get half these places. Before going on that tangent, I was going to a tangent about I brought this up in Breath of the Wild. Everyone complains about like water levels and ice levels being terrible, but do you know what the true worst video game level is? Desert levels. Ice levels at least have something going on. Desert levels are just sand. It's just different colors of sand. <laughs> Ice physics may be annoying, but it's at least uh, incorporated into the level in some regard. Sean clearly doesn't remember our commentary. No, I, I don't remember most things. I don't remember our commentary. <laughs> so, you just saw that thumbnail? Just, oh, yeah, I was like, what the hell? <laughs> That's amazing, it, but why? <laughs> most of my... I don't remember most of what I said. Most of it has just blurred together into a ball of noise. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. What did I say about what? What did I say about your comment, Carson? Uh, he was angry, see, but so was Kurt Cobain. Oh, I saw the trial. I was like, "What context was this in?" Uh, and the fact that you, like, I can only imagine you saw you, you like, were looking through stuff. Like, what am I gonna use? And you heard that line. I was like, "Oh, that's it." No, I remembered that line. I can't. I was looking for it. Only two levels left. You left the ice cavern without getting the iron boots, though. <laughs> Get out. I, I thought the, the... The trailer, what I did, most of the quotes in the trailer are, um, ends of jokes with no context. So if people saw the trailer, they would think, what the hell? That's why I did. He I'm was... Hunting Dr. Shemp. <laughs> uh, this, um... Boss has an interesting name. A lot of people argue over what Shimp means. It was a joke um, term in developers. I believe it was whenever a developer would screw up with something, they would get the Shimp. Yes. Naughty Dog used it a lot. Yes, and so they decided to throw the 
as Herm in the game. A he lot. just died. Did you see that? Yes! He just ceased to be. Try to zoom in on that. What's fun about this is, um, so watch. If I dodge that guy, he'll just run off the cliff. There was also, um... Wow, lemmings are smarter than this. There was also an unused world in Spyro 1's files. I believe it was, um, called, like, Thigh Kingdom or something like that. I wonder why that went on. People don't even think it was an actual world. People think it was a test map. It, it, it was by something. It used the naming scheme of this game. I think it was Thigh Kingdom, but on screen, um, I'll write some text of whatever it was, but that text should be on the screen somewhere. The only- Oh, I should play Jackass. The only world name in this game I can remember the name of is uh, Dream Makers. Okay, John, I can edit. I can put text on things. Dang it. Hmm, if you had that flutter at the end, you would have made that. We have that. Text is... What's <laughs> 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 that? Like, what, what, one? Fuck that? you, That's, that's why they run when she slaps them. You're wondering why they're right off the edge? Well, they don't. They're going off at some way. <laughs> Anyway! They're not trying to kill you, they're trying to escape her. <laughs> yes. So... But I'm pretty sure the only place you can fly from the there. I confuse the guy by talking about the fact that I make thumbnails in Sony Vegas. What else would you make thumbnails in? Photoshop. Oh. Yeah, that's what a lot of people do. People think I use Photoshop! The and, guy asked me, he was like, and, wait, how did you make a thumbnail in a um, video editing software? And also, as you can see, this is another part of the game I don't really like because you can very easily get bum rust there by the enemies. Because it's something you won't notice. I'm like 90% sure this is the legend I'm supposed to be flying off of. Pretty sure. It's something you will like never notice because outside of this part of the game there aren't really any enemies together, but Spyro doesn't really have invincibility frames. A lot of people don't think you can make thumbnails in Sony Vegas. Maybe you need a running start. No, because no. running starts aren't really things in this game. That wasn't until the sequel. <laughs> oh no, I, I no. can I can like run up to it like this. Yeah. I was waiting for that to happen, that but it didn't happen any of the other times. That doesn't feel like it should have worked. Like I said, it is. Curse and one and Curse and you, Curse, do you know how many times I <laughs> play this game, and the way I get to ledges is by barely glitched. Collision detecting walls. And that's why they added the flutter. <laughs> yes! yes Again, is. you can like I will I'll say it multiple times. Remember the Dragonfly is a bad game, but it at least had good ideas. It at least tried to um improve the series, but they did not have the time nor the budget to do so. And hey, a hero's tale is better! Well, that was because that one wasn't rushed. That came out on time. Then we, except then we have Blink, and that kind of counteracts that. You don't have to play him if you don't want to. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I hundred percent of the game. Again, that's one so, of those. That's unfortunately, your problem. Anybody watching this, Spyro One has the best bosses. Off the classic game. Oh no, I'm sorry. Spyro Two has halfway decent bosses. A lot of people seem to Oh, like wait! Boss battles! Yeah! Uh, a lot of- Spyro 3s are just garbage. A lot of people seem to like the bosses of- It's funny that you say that, because the final boss of Spyro 3 is the one a lot of people like. It's okay. Spyro 3 was the one with the hidden super graph, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's, um... The final boss that people like. And the, um... 
at this point. I don't know what I was trying to do. <laughs> I was gonna ask. Yeah, won't be. You see, Carson, he doesn't need sparks to live. Yeah. Just... I take this as a Super Mario um, situation, and that almost wall, it's um not. Uh, that a boss wall. It's very simple. In in terms. Well, of, um, it's, no, it's Power Two has the hidden super. I'm yeah. sorry. In terms of the design aspect of the game, that boss makes a lot of sense. The one we just fought because um, it basically it was a bigger version of those enemies that you can only hit in the back. Granted, a boss it shouldn't be a bigger version of an anime but they at least had an idea um, of you know you have to like use your ram and your fire breath oh you can't use your ram on that boss didn't you have to no i had uh, a flame in the back of it no i was going to my point was the ram you said the getting momentum isn't really a thing in this game do you do... you can get some but i mean None so the, the ram doesn't really increase. No. Your... No, because when you jump, what? when you jump doing that, you do the yeah, that. The and so timing that would be really weird. I guess if you could t figure out how to time it just right, you could. The or funny... style comes to a screeching halt when you go that's everybody. The funny thing is, I jumping around and ramming is technically faster. I guess you're just traveling around. Yeah. I could be wrong about this, but if the speed runs of this game aren't. Glitching. I think if they fight that boss, they're able to get ahead of him. I think they can get ahead of him and ram him from the back. You can't ram him. He's big. I said from the back. No, you can't ram him. It just He's big. It just doesn't work. You no. Know, he doesn't take damage from him. He's big. Big hmm. things don't take damage from ramming. Huh. That's why you have to flame his back. Most big enemies who have armor don't have it on their back because um, they'd be unkillable. The only exception are the ones that are standing in the snow in the ice cavern, and they do, and the reason they should kill them is because when you ram them, they slide. I imagine that would be the other way around because you're when you ram something, you're impaling it with your sharp horns. I would imagine something. Except, but you can impale him because he's wearing armor. But I feel that it almost feels like that would be the other way around because, like I said, when you ram something, you're hitting it with your sharp horns, I would imagine something bigger would be... Doesn't like, work that way. You know, it would be fireproof. Yes, most of the speedruns are like... I, I will do are basically like that. New where it's like five record. seconds left, But you'll not hear me, like, get worried, because that's normal. Look at all my amazing enemies! <laughs> Stop that! I totally have not done... I have not failed on one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Don't die again. Don't die again? No, I promise. Uh, Gosnall, the balloonist. That's an. Un Magic crafters. That. Be glowing, nothing else! All that failure! I did not. I have not <laughs> failed the speed run. <laughs> How do you craft magic? Jackass. Ooh, look at me. I had all those values that you didn't have. Am, am I fucking with you guys? You'll never know. There'll be some detail in the HUD or something you didn't think about. That Dang. Uh, there will be some detail in the HUD or something that you don't think about. That's the key to this answer. <laughs> So the, I've spent hours. I've spent mm, hours before trying to get that one guy. The cars and the loading screens in this game. Let's see. I'm pretty sure that I can skip this area. The loading screens in this game probably use the same frame count, so I could. I was. Eat. I wasn't saying anything about the loading screens. I was just saying the general like. I hope people don't mind that I'm skipping like these dragons. When they literally they... repeat the same, like, five lines of dialogue. Well, no, well, they give you a useless thrill. Like, I think that one tells me about egg thieves. To be fair, there is at least an egg thief next to him. Yeah, but there's also been egg thieves throughout this entire game. Well, mm -hmm. 
I'm actually going. To... Okay, you know, I'm tired because I'm about to theoretically, the keyword here is theoretically, defend nonlinear design. How out of order could you go with this? Because if. You don't have to play any world. But, like, you. How many dragons did you. We just rolled you on a balloon, so you need. Ten... Why is he dead? Huh? I didn't hit him. Who? What? what there died? was a guy here who made a wall, so that I couldn't go up this way. But I think he died because I blew up the, one of those whirly gig things you don't have. <laughs> I love this. He seems pleased with himself. Well, he laughed because, huh? I'm higher than you. Mm -hmm. And yes, yes, he was. But of all that pot he was smoking. <laughs> the problem. Enjoy well, my amazing head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not being funny. Well, hey, I don't have <laughs> the, sparks. The uh, problem with being this high is getting back down. I have no idea where I heard that, but that's a quote from something. I'm going to assume that's just a general stoner joke. You, you say that joke's getting old, but I need to amuse myself because you don't feel... The pain until you've literally watched your own videos. Zendor! Hours in a row. So, would you say editing is the definition of insanity? A little bit. A little bit, yes. Okay. So, um. Ha! Who needs a key? <laughs> the only key is my head. I don't know if there's an actual key. There <laughs> might be. You know, the. But I didn't need it. Anything. Wasn't like in so. This is the first time we get to see these, and the dragon up here actually gives us intelligent tutorial because he tells you what these do. No other dragon in the game does it any tells you anything before you can do it. Mm -hmm. We go into Sanic mode. See his legs are even doing the rotating thing and everything. So, um, huh. just as hard to control as a 3D Sonic game. Oh. Wow. Wow, and Somniac oh. predicted the future like 15 years in advance! <laughs> There's nothing in here. Why is that there, then? You know, I think the key's in there. <laughs> but I think when you break the chest, the key ceases to be because the game has a check to say you used the key. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I never touched any dang key. Use your head. But I don't want to use my head! I w would assume at some point that would probably start, like, fracturing Spyro's skull. Dragon. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't there like in some legend dragon? He's that... a dragon! And a horny one of that! Ah. <laughs> Wasn't in like some legend or something dragons had like skin that was as strong as diamond or something like that? At, at this point, getting any advertisements from YouTube, they just need to watch any 20 seconds to nope out of here. Oh, that guy tells you about speedruns. Ah, so the term speed run, so the term speed run is officially used in the game. Um, Carson, I don't know. Hmm. A lot. Maybe we should actually listen to this dragon. I can't believe I'm using a soft key. <laughs> not. Boulder. This portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young. Nope. He's not even fly. Nope, just. Alright, I think I have everything here. Yep. That was fast. Let's see if we've. No, let's go randomly see if we've met all the prerequisites now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there will be. Okay, so to answer your question for earlier, Carson, there are home worlds you can skip. Yeah, I know. The, the entire last set of worlds, I believe, in Spiral 1 and 2, completely optional. No, I believe you have to place. You have to actually. Even if you got everything up to. If you got everything, it's either Beast Makers. Yeah, if you get everything in every world up to this point, you can't skip Beast Makers. We're not going to Beast Makers because I'm 100% this game. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, it, it's hard to notice, but that tech, I swear the ground texture was just moving on its own for no reason. But the reason. game is enough to where if you just played through straight through levels and grabbed gems on your way, you could probably get through most of the game. Mm -hmm. 
if you just did things without trying to 100% the game, how much would you have to do it in like a base? Uh, I can't remember how much you need to do to get out of Dreamweavers. Uh, I mean, I think it has like the hardest prerequisite because I think the next area just wants 50 dragons. I don't think there are 50 dragons in the first three home worlds. Okay, guys. So my question of the day is... What do you guys think of the platforming in this game? I thought I would ask, since Sean kept dying while trying to glide out to that one gym, I personally feel the platforming in Spyro 1 is really jank and horrible. It's massively improved in Spyro 2 and Spyro 3. I don't really like it in this game and think it's overall awkward and very very terrible in a lot of instances but anyway i would really love to know what you guys think you can leave your thoughts opinions and answers in the comments below or you can leave them on social media all my social media links are in the video description. Now, as always, I need to be a shield for a minute. If you liked my video, please hit the like button and leave some comments. If you're new to my channel and want to see more of my videos, please hit the subscription button and subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please ring the bell next to the subscription button. That gives you the proper notifications of whenever I upload a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. Doing all of these things really helps out the channel and it really helps our communities grow. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time.